I'm Pat Gunn, and this is the second episode of my Let's Play of Fallout 4. <clears throat> we kind of like the uh, rotate loading screens. One of the few downsides of having a much faster uh, computer now is that they pass too quickly. So, one thing I noticed, there's a trick that you can use, uh, actually that you need to use, if you want to get your intelligence up to 12, what you need to have, ah uh, good, I have one, is an alcohol or some other effect that can reduce your intelligence by one. And to do this, I need to swing back by a sanctuary. Now, I'm just assuming that having an intelligence over 10 uh, actually still provides uh, those same benefits. I'm not absolutely sure that's the case. Anyhow, for this, you need to head home. I think this is home. And you need to use that item to get a temporary minus, which drops your skill down to 9. And then you can uh, use this uh, childhood item to bump your skill back up to 10. So if I look at my special stat, it is at uh, 10, but it shows with a minus. Once the alcohol wears off, it'll uh, go up to 11, which is pretty cool. Because at least, again, assuming that it works the way that I think it works, It means that you, uh, maybe I should actually keep this with me. Always in, in Fallout, you face that difficulty of what weapons uh, to bring with you. <clears throat> oh, but I did not mean to do that. Left arm. Let's see, what did I put down? I put, okay, right arm. That is the thing that I accidentally unequipped. Okay, cool. So, now I'm ready to go back to the farmer folk. And this will be... Because, if I remember correctly, this is what you need to do for them to uh, make them an uh, ally with you. This will mean that this is my first active settlement. Because, technically, I kind of have three. Okay, now it says vodka is worn off. So now if we go here, we see that our intelligence has gone up to 11. It's pretty sweet. Anyhow. We can go and visit them. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? <laughs> that was a very fast stand-up. Connie's going to be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. Please do. Well, almost gained two levels, and I can scoop up some fun. Cool beans. So let's reap the benefits of our reward. Again, we are really going to be happy when we can do local leader, because then we can do supply lines. So let's do this, and then next time we gain a level, we can start doing supply lines. And supply lines... If you're gonna get into the game in the sense that, or it, the best way to say this, I think, is if you're going to really take part in the game, in in the parts of the game that are like settlement centric, then this is one of the more important skills. Since when you set up supply lines between your settlements, then they share inventory, and Without that, basically each settlement is kind of on its own. Somewhere over here is another settlement. I think. Maybe. Hoping I'm not misremembering. Oh, and there's water, which is a bit of a downer. So where are we? It's almost due west. Maybe should show up on my marker. Not sure 
sure if that's it or not. I mean, you definitely want to get every landmark you can for later fast travel. This is not quite looking right, unless it's the thing that's straight ahead. Okay, so that's definitely not what we want. Um, yeah, maybe just southwest of here. But I think the thing I'm, I'm heading towards is... It's another empty settlement. And so it's not nearly as useful. Whereas now, now that I actually have good relations with... What is the name of that place again? With Abernathy Farm. Uh, that is going to be a place where I can go sell any stuff that I... That I uh, don't end up uh, deconstructing for a building. Oh, that is radioactive. Not a good direction to go. Somewhere out here. Oh. I'm not working out quite as I had hoped. By me. There is. I appreciate that uh, that Fallout 4 fixed one of the weird quirks of the of the series up to the uh, up to this point, where you really had no good reason to keep on gathering stuff. Like generally, you would see all sorts of stuff that you could grab when you were out there. Oh, there it is. Actually, I've traveled a little bit too far west, and I have to head a little bit uh, further east now to, to make it there. But yeah, there's finally a reason to keep on grabbing things, because you can craft good stuff. Well, I mean, you can do craft good stuff both in settlements and uh, in weapons. I think you could do it to some very limited, uh, limited extent. You could craft... Oh, fudge. From you. Well, that would be challenging, but Let's see if we can. Okay, this is turning out to be a little bit more interesting than I thought, but. to do it. Let's see. Except, I think the addition of Robot Workshop, it changed the way that uh, Codsworth worked. He used to be able to heal him with stim patch, which never really made sense because he is a robot. But with that revision, uh, Robot Repair Kits became the right way to heal that com uh, companion. Okay. This is what I came here to put on the map. Again, it's a pretty much empty settlement. There is that kind of deranged robot guy. Okay, now... We have local leaders, so when we're ready, we will be able to link uh, all, of, all of our settlements together. They're not going to be ready for a while. There are jewels. Fortunately, if you're careful with regular ghouls, you can handle them at a very um, low level. but they're a little bit harder to deal with at higher levels. I remember in Fallout 3, by contrast, most ghouls were pretty much uh, harmless, but some of the higher level ones, the Reavers, were incredibly nasty. 
Okay, so now we've hit a, a point in the game where, because we're not doing the Minuteman quests, we kind of just have to keep feeling out the levels and expanding our comfort uh, love, uh, our level of comfort in the game, like where we're cool adventuring, until we can start get on uh, until we can start getting onto some of the other major quest lines. So this is a fairly unorthodox way to play. I think ordinarily uh, Bethesda probably expected people to use uh, the Minutemen and their quests as a way to branch out. But I find it more fulfilling, actually. Let's see. That's Get a cool hat. Ooh, there is explosive. Not quite sure what triggers it, but if we can grab it before it triggers, then all the better. Such disarray, I wouldn't know where to begin if I had to clean up this mess. Yeah, so I think it would be pretty cool if there were a, a good way to arrange for uh, Mr. Handy's to clean. Oh, come on. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Grabbing stuff. Because again, anything you get in... Uh, in Fallout 4 can be pretty uh, pretty helpful for ooh, can be pretty helpful in some way in a settlement. No way I could pick this. Oh well, shucks. Master lock. There's not actually a whole lot of space for. Okay, so what was I doing? I think. I'm remembering right, I was heading east. Hello, and welcome to Walden Pond. The Rose Cabin survived the bomb. You are now standing in front of the cabin. You are now standing in front of the cabin. So, you'll see me doing that fairly often. If you hit the, the aim button, then... It's kind of a great way to have the game tell you, like, is there an enemy? In this area or not? Yeah, there are some posts where you definitely should... should prefer to not use... They didn't set up adequate defenses for their um, settlement area, and that's that's the reason why when you s see me start to do settlement building, I will almost always have a perimeter wall, just because nobody should feel secure with the kind of uh, open access to where they're sleeping, just just like there. Let's keep saving the game, just in case. That was rather prescient. Very good time to save the game. So to deal with this, we're gonna actually toss a grenade. And back off. I still might have bitten off more than I could do. Uh oh. Okay, 
kind of demonstrates how nice it would be in real life. Take out. Oh, that is a tough turret. Shit. So the one nice thing about that is that if you if you keep entering the same body part. Okay. So another good thing about this doing this is that if I am successful I will potentially get some rather nice uh, some rather nice gear to go forward in the game. Of course if I screw up Let's see. Oh fudge. Okay. So I'm gonna try one more time. But if I fail, then... Okay, so... Just a little bit harder. Ah, fudge. Okay. Frag grenade. So now we're gonna... Run and see... How things go this. Okay. Our mine definitely paid off. Our running back definitely paid off. And I do not yet see any signs. Always watch out for the grenades. Okay, the the turret is still there. Oh, we're going on help. Yep. So this is my fault in that I have gotten fairly used to playing the game with some of the buffs that make. that make uh, medkits much more effective. Okay, so if I go up here, where does he go? I can make this explode. Okay, this is definitely not going particularly well. But, okay, that's what I meant to do. Okay, so apparently I just can't do this at level, I think I'm at level 5. Yeah, this is just a little bit too tough for me, so I'm going to remember where this is. So it's a little bit east of Walden Pond. That's a bummer. But at the same time, sometimes you have to be a little bit pragmatic. Oh, is this... Where are you like? You are just a floaty thing. Is there anything? Okay, so with hacking, you are trying to guess the right word, but every time you, you only get a certain number of guesses before it resets, and you get a measure of how close you were. Lightness of one which means that one, uh, one letter overlaps with the correct word. Cure would be a word that, if correct, would have an overlap of one. Good. There's a inactive Mr. Gutsy and some explosives. Cool. So we're going to keep on heading southeast to expand our domain. Okay, there's a quest event over there that I don't want to get involved in right now, because if I can get my charisma up further, if 
by the time we do it, I can negotiate a better outcome. I'm going to save it until that point. Plus also, if you end up screwing it up, um, then you can easily be killed in the ensuing battle. And I think in general I would prefer not to save scum too much. So if the chance is very low that I can survive a confrontation, then I would rather not do it. And actually, I should probably cook some cook some foods while I'm here, both because you get experience, and because at least right now I don't have much in the way of better ways to heal myself. Because you can't eat things that come out of the body. Okay, we're going to save again. Because this is another settlement, believe it or not. But it is guarded. Okay. But yeah, it's guarded by a mole rat infestation, and you kind of have to be willing to fight through that in order to get this a, as a settlement. Now, I find this to be an interesting settlement in the sense that you would think if you were imagining settling this land with no structures here, this might be a reasonably good, uh, good bit of land, but there's the challenge that it's overseen by some big hills. And... And if you had to deal with raiders or with other types of uh, attackers, then you would probably prefer to pick a place that doesn't have that kind of overlook. Yeah, just grab a little bit more and put it in the box. So we're progressing nicely. We have our furthest southeast point on our map, and we're just going to keep pushing in that direction. But yeah, you, you would be... If you didn't have to deal with wild animals or with raiders, this would be a great place for a settlement. But because in the world of Fallout you do, you have to be nervous about... Okay, this probably was unwise. But, yeah, you, you have to worry about... Let's see if we have any more, any better weapons that we can use. You have to worry about those kinds of uh, attacks. is some pretty great luck. Just barely made it through that. And I should probably stick this on on my favorite wheel. Okay. There we go. Contworth is has recovered. And we can grab the stuff that the Agwai uh, killed. So cool, that worked out surprisingly well. I thought it was pretty likely that that would, uh, that would kill me. So, we're going to keep on wandering southeast across the Commonwealth. Still doing pretty much okay health-wise. Definitely don't want to drink any bath water because pretty much all water in the Fallout series is radioactive. 
and if you drink it, you will be irradiated. And in Fallout 4, unlike Fallout 3, or in the previous Fallout games, just if you pass certain thresholds of being uh, irradiated, then you have to worry about some percent loss, loss to your stats. Fallout 4, every little bit of radiation counts. It's not thresholded. So... Perfect. Cool. So every bit of radiation uh, does some uh, removal of your max health, and I believe that that's the only effect that you get from being irradiated. But it's still annoying. Uh, so... I think, in a sense, you, you have to worry more about radiation in Fallout 4 than you did in uh, in any of the previous Fallout games. Okay, I cannot unlock that right now. But I did get one skill book back there. Okay. Well, this has pretty much just been a resource gathering expedition in here. We probably don't need anything else. Right now, and daylight has risen, so this town is very dangerous to enter, so I'm going to try and skirt the edges. It is inhabited by raiders, and I am not yet at a level where I'm ready to deal with raiders. Oh, was something flying through the air up there? I thought I saw something. Definitely not used to playing at this resolution. I think I mentioned... Okay. So I think I mentioned that I ordinarily play at 4K. And I have a rather nice graphics card, a, a, or well, actually two of them in the system, GTX uh, 1080s. I have them in a uh, in an SLI configuration, which is proven to be rather nice for uh, gaming. But I don't think uh, any of the video capture for that would be workable. Okay, so this. I think these are just float flies, but let's double check. Because this looks like it theoretically could be a settlement of some sort, and I don't want to risk picking up hostile life I trust everyone still alive. I do not want to risk being necessarily killed by High Raiders. Okay, that is working out okay so far. I mean, this would not be a great settlement area, because it's, again, too open, and nobody... I mean, it's in playing games like this that you realize what security really is like in the modern world, and why be, just being able to assume it makes everything in life easier. In that, in ordinarily uh, or in ordinary life, we can just wander through the world and generally not assume that uh, that there are going to be ruffians anywhere attacking us or anything like that. And in that kind of assumption, as imperfect as it can be, because there are uh, there are like not great people out there in the world, but even having a reasonable belief in it, if, if not a complete belief in it, enables us to live happily and securely in ways that people of past generations couldn't necessarily. Okay, here we again are possibly pressing into areas which we're not yet ready to, to handle. But Carefully pressing ahead. Uh oh. Oh shit. Okay, not great. I think I heard some raiders. Oh 
So these are named ghouls. I think they're they're meant to have the names of your former neighbors, and that's pretty disturbing stuff. Since it's kind of meant to uh, imply that that's what happens to people who did not make it into the vault. Okay, definitely hearing some human voices there. Maybe we should take care of them. Oh, readers. It's risky to do at a low level. Pack it in, boys. There's nothing out there. We're getting very low on ammo, too. Okay. On the upside is, uh, if we play our cards right, we might end up with more ammo. Oh, no. Expected to need to do some of that, but apparently not. Okay. So I think this would be an area of raiders successfully or reasonably successfully taking over an area. And this this feels like it wouldn't necessarily be a bad place to build this element, in that you have some amount of control over who can make it in. And that you have these effective walls with uh, with some gaps in them. You have places of high visibility that you could put guards up uh, up on. So yeah, I think you could do a lot worse than this. And like they they built cooking areas. Don't mind if I do. Free XP and some free healing areas uh, or healing items would possibly go wrong. Oh, did I see? Oh, red stags. Okay, not gonna mess with them. Generally, there's not a lot of point in uh, attacking the local wildlife, particularly when ammo is scarce. Let us. Uh, another pistol that we have some more ammo for. Get it ready. Oops. Okay, not great. Let's see if we can do a nice discreet kill. Yeah. Cool. Definitely bit off more than I could chew. Let's see, do I still... Okay, I at least have this. I'm gonna try this one more time, just a little bit more cautiously. Okay. Fine. Perfect shot. It didn't. wasn't a one-hit kill this time. We're gonna try and avoid that kind of get a grenade, die instantly. Thing. Quite dangerous for somebody. 
I'd like to find a way to take out that turret. Okay, so there's the turret. Hustlers, don't stand in my way. stand right in front of me. Okay, now that we're back to a little bit more of that multi-way battle that I like so much. Because the more of that... are just a little bit tough for any of the weapons I have available. Those guys are gonna fight each other because uh oh. Okay, that is not good. Okay, super mutant suiciders. The unfortunate trait of carrying a mini nuke and lobbing it. Still. Although we should try try hanging back a bit. See if my foes will deal with each other a little bit more. Looks like they have. Turret is gone. Super movie is which is needed for some things. Okay. Progressing nicely. Go ahead and hide. And there it's on me. Oh, but I'm hearing raiders again. happen. Okay, I think we're ready to move forward again. Definitely a lot more uh, combat heavy than I expected I would be at this point, but don't stand in my way. Damn it. way up on the hill. Okay, so let's go get some loot. Chin up. A lot of loot. Go here somewhere. And then we will save again, because I think we've earned it. And we will see what we can do. Oh, 
Oh, right. I think this is another major super mutant area. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them in that building there, if I remember right. So, it's definitely not a great place to be at low levels. But, we're going to forge ahead because it keeps things interesting. Basically, at this part of the game, a big part of our plan needs to be just to keep on getting more powerful. And that means uh, leveling up and getting more skills. Hmm. How would we get on top of that building that we're walking next to? Maybe I'm misremembering. I thought it was possible. In fact, pretty easy, but maybe not. Ah, let's just move on. Guard tower light, and those unfortunately. Ooh. Drag mines. Fortunately, if you are just a little bit thoughtful with how you do this, you can either grab them or you can sprint away from them if they trigger. Both are potentially valid, but I think drag mines are a pretty nice thing to have at your disposal. So I prefer to make an effort to grab them. Okay, here's some shooting. Usually that means that there's going to be loot. If you're really clever, you can avoid doing any of the fighting and so you still get some of the loot. Okay, what's happening ahead? safe right now. But one of the nice things, if you can manage to Okay. We're again We're cutting it very close. But if we can manage to save the settlers then, then we can uh, send them to our settlements. Oh, okay, so we're carrying too much. We're going to need to do some emergency... Okay, don't need this, this, or this. This. Actually, radar gear is pretty useless has a poor weight to strength ratio, which is probably the right way to think about all this. That gets our... Okay, so now if we can just head up. Okay. 
should be able to knock these guys out and hopefully get those settlers to go to our settlements without needing to build a radio. And this is super bold. Okay. There's just one of these guys left and they are on top of there. Generally the way that you handle this is you head over there on this weird creepy little cart thing. I'm worried that the settlers will go run off if Do that. But we can summon that. Sweet. Okay, so that's it for them. Let's see if we still have any sellers alive, because if we do, we can ask them to head to our place. Uh, I hope that's not too far. No, it's so we survived. Where did they go? chance they might have slipped off, which is probably the right thing for them to do. But it is not that great if we were rescuing them. Oh, nope, they're still here. Cool. Hey guys. <laughs> you got a dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. Hey. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Don't care much for good neighbor. That place? <laughs> Don't care much for good neighbor. That place? It's nothing but trouble. Oh, are these it's possible that they're not the sort? <clears throat> if you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Well, that is annoying. A lot of the time in the game, if you save settlers, then they'll be looking for a place to live, and you can just kind of <clears throat> easy living. This ain't. You can just kind of send them off to your settlements, but I guess not this time. Oh well, uh, we still are pressing along pretty nicely. And we got a level out of this. I would like to be able to keep improving my guns because they are essential to surviving. So what are we going to do next? Wow, we have seriously progressed much further east than I thought we would. It's pretty impressive. But do I have any other chest piece? Am I? Yeah, I do. Okay. And I just don't like the way that the gas masks look. Yeah, not that this stuff is just not that useful to carry. us down into, like if you look at Boston, I think Boston is generally this area here, and so we're heading down into, uh, oh no, Cambridge is this area here. So we're heading down into Boston as we cross this bridge. Yeah, that is another way there. Unfortunately, we're a little low. Picking up hostile light but... sign. Okay. I was just getting warmed up. Oh, they're over there. 
Nice. Oh, fudge. Lots of those. There's one up there and there's one over there. Two over there. It's gonna be a rough invasion. Yeah. This would be a great way and time to make it to Boston proper, but... Easy can we have somebody coming at us? Okay, it's one down. Of course, there's still is that person way up there. Okay, still fairly healthy. Take down this person. Um, something's afoot. I've seen a vaccine in Deadpool. Okay. Uh, leather. Yeah, any leather gear. Generally, any gear that's made of leather is probably going to be the the right thing for me right now. Like right now, leather left leg is two general armor, five electric. This is three and six. A lot of your foes will have some ammo on them. Not always. Okay, so where are we going? We are actually southwest is probably the right direction to be heading in. But we're definitely being brave for this level. Actually, maybe, maybe actually uh, heading east is not such a bad idea because we might make it to good neighbor. Uh oh, okay, here's some super mutants. Okay, so I think I remember there was something about this area. Is there a bear? Might have been a bear here. I, oh, there is our bear. What's all this so definitely a reminder of how ineffective. Super Mutants attacked us, and there's that bear nearby. Well, I suppose there's a certain uh, humor in that. Let's get rid of our junk. And the bear is still off that way. We might actually prefer not to fight the bear. Not a good thing. Maybe... Oh. Again, if you play your cards right, sometimes you can get your post to fight each other. The battle is will get.
they killed something. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on over there. Not sure how healthy that bear is, but I would prefer not to face it if I can avoid it. I wonder how far back it was that I saved. <laughs> Hope it wasn't too far back. <laughs> but that's certainly a little bit of humility. Um... Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. I give these guys one more. Lost track of how many blisters I have. Huh? Hope you ain't one of them sins. <laughs> you you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Okay. The whole place so... is run by robots. On second try, I'm still not going to be able to get them to come come along with me. That's fine. I suppose it's it builds a little bit of character to get killed by a bear. So we're going to try and take a slightly different route than we took last time, just to avoid boredom. So we're still gonna. Did we? Right, we crossed this bridge. Let's maybe go across a different bridge. Okay. So you can kind of see that the Boston of this world is not it's at least moderately different than our Boston. In that there's a whole lot more gigantic buildings. So you can imagine that the history probably would go quite the same uh, as our world. I mean, obviously, in many, that's going to be true because the history of the Fallout world is longer than ours. Hmm. It's not the happiest of things, because I don't think I can get onto that side of the bridge from this side. Oh, there is some stuff down there that maybe I want to have. Crystal. Crystal is really useful. I'm going to soak up some rads doing this. Okay. There we go. Get up. No, it looks like not. Something over there. There's a dangerous stock. Take it out from over here while I'm still on a on a boat. That'd be nice. Oh, I hope it can't reach me. Maybe it can. here and it might be possible to lure them over to where I am. Just based on the fact that they should... Oh, and there's a mire lurk. That's where you are. Mire lurks are probably not going to be easy for me to handle at this level. Yeah, I just can't do enough damage to them. But fortunately, there's a tough horse there. So we will risk the wrath of the dogs. This, 
bad dog. No bum. Here comes another dog. This is our alpha. We're gonna back off from this one because it probably could be easily. It gave us some pretty good experience. And now we're over there. Oh, poor turn. Nothing that got me back under. And I think there's another dog. So did we enter Boston? Yep, looks like we entered Boston. We're really in Boston right now. This takes us to Cabot House, which there's a bunch of interesting quests to do later on there. Uh, I think we're probably going to take a break right now, since we're getting, I think we're at an, uh, an hour. We're at level six. We've made it to Cabot House. That's pretty good. So I will see you in the next Let's Play.